Are you uploading the same content, the same non-copyrighted content that every COD YouTuber is uploading? How dare you? Throw away the keys. <laughs> Know your history, because it's about to repeat itself, is what Activision wants you to believe. If you guys don't know already, my name is Freaky. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I got a video taken down yesterday, uh, apparently for having copyrighted content. It was an autoclaim from Activision Publishing, Inc. Now, what this usually means is that they had a bot run kind of around on YouTube and decide whoever they wanted to give a strike to just for having any sort of, uh, I guess, gameplay. But I literally didn't have any gameplay. And I saw that the video got like 56 views. I think it was up for maybe about a half an hour to an hour. I don't really know. I went to sleep after it was getting uploaded. So it got, it got taken down pretty quickly because it was literally still sitting on processing for HD. And that usually takes about an hour to get to 1440p, which is bizarre that it got taken down so fast. Because rule number one, let's go to this picture. Um, I don't want to call on any of these people because it's literally they're just made the exact same content I did, um, which is basically just talking about what happened in the uh, rumored leaked Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay that was streamed on Twitch, may I add you, that I didn't do. Hey, Activision, I didn't do that, nor did I put it in my video, but neither did these people. Except for a few people. Random YouTubers just trying to get the clicks and views with the actual multiplayer gameplay that was leaked. Didn't get struck in. They didn't get, they didn't get a strike. They didn't get a takedown notice. But they're still up. They're, they've been up for hours. I watched one that got up, I think it was like up for like 24 hours. And they're still up on YouTube right now. But yet my video gets auto-claimed for not even having any content of the sort for copywriting uh, claim to be happening and for my video to be taken down. So I put up a counterclaim. Um, it's going to take about 10 days. Oh, yeah. So you'll hear back from me on this case in 10 days and see what happens. Hopefully Activision doesn't sue me because I know this was an auto claim and I literally did nothing wrong. All this is under fair use and under the, uh, 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 you know, under, um, let's see, mm, mm, the First Amendment. Um, uh, yeah, so... This is interesting. I know it probably wasn't Activision's fault. It's obviously just a bot. They were just trying to get rid of all the leaked gameplay that was on YouTube. Totally understandable, but uh, your bot needs to be trained a little bit better, to be honest. It can't just run around and find any low uh, view count channels and just take down the video that literally I'm making the same content as everyone else's. Just because my channel was smaller, I think I got attacked. Which kind of sucks um, because I literally just wanted to make Call of Duty videos again recently, more news related stuff. But if I can't talk about stuff like that and other bigger YouTubers can talk about the same stuff that I want to talk about, then I guess I literally can't do it until the game comes out. Which sucks because this is like the moment in time where you're literally growing your channel and trying to uh, get more people to watch your videos. And this is the hype. This is, this is what... Call of Duty does every every year, dude. There's building up hype, and it's it makes people excited, and I want to talk about it because I'm excited about the game, and I love the game, and it, it looks super cool. I just want to talk about it, but apparently I'm not allowed to talk about it because I am a smaller channel, and it looks sketchy to them that I'm talking about it, but when other bigger channels talk about it, it's fine. Strange to me. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, Papa Activision doesn't come and sue me because I'd love to see them do that. That'd be, I mean, I wouldn't love to see them do that. It would just be interesting to get a lawsuit from them uh, for my, what, uh, 56 views that I uploaded of no copyrighted content. Interesting to say the less. Um, hopefully, this gets resolved. Um, I just don't know what to say, man. I If you guys seen the video, you guys can let me know. 
if you saw any copyrighted content besides my craziest artwork of all time that I recreated something, which is stupid because I can literally recreate anything I want. And the Call of Duty's uh, multiplayer is literally just the same as all Black Ops games have always been. It literally looks no different. So if they want to say I copyrighted by saying a couple of perks here and there, well, hello, Activision. I don't know if you noticed already, but your game has literally been the same exact game for about, mm, let's see, uh, 10 to 12 years now, okay? Literally been the same game. All Black Ops games have literally had the exact same perk names for the most part, and nothing has changed pretty much ever. The sound is exactly the same. Minimaps in Call of Duty have been pretty much exactly the same. Uh, guns. Oh, wow, there's guns in the game, dude. There's guns? Really? Um, and it's a 80s-era game? Hmm, let's think. Oh, they're probably going to be from Black Ops 1 era. Okay, Activision. I don't know what exactly the copyright was for. And now I'm getting more pissed. I wasn't pissed before, but now I'm more pissed. <sighs> Activision, if you're watching this video, please take that strike down. This is uh, actu absolutely ridiculous for me getting a, a strike for something stupid. Or at least tell me what I did wrong so I don't do it again. Which I know I didn't do anything. But whatever in your eyes you think I did wrong.